goodies to help with my antelope high chair revamp. So I'm just going to show you what I've got in the box. So the first thing, I've got this little mat to put on the um, table area and it's like a silicone, silicone or silicone? I think it's silicone, um, matte basically and it's like a, a matte finish on the front and then on the back it's like a shiny finish. God, I'm really bad at explaining. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically you put it on the table and it goes up like that, obviously, because that's the, the style of the um, antelope high chair table. Um, the second thing that I got was a footrest and I got it in this like wooden effect style as well. And that's just gonna like upmarket the high chair straight away adding that. It just makes it look so much more classy and also it's practical as well. Um, Especially for Arlo, like at the minute his legs are just dangling down and it's just, it doesn't look very comfortable. So putting that on there and letting him have some sort of leg support to sort of help train him as well to sit him up better because he's not brilliant at sitting up still. He still sort of slopes in the chair. So I'm hoping this will help. Um, and I love the color as well. I love like the Scandi vibes. Um, the next thing I got was so this is like a little cushion um, to put in the high chair. Like as I said before, he slopes. I have to always put um, 
like blankets and stuff in there to help support him because he's he's not really on track right now for sitting up um so again i think this is going to help him and it is an ikea one um but i forgot to buy one when i got my high chair so my co baby have sent me this um and basically saved me and basically you suck like suck no not suck you blow air into these um and it basically blows it up and just gives you like a nice cushion on the back of the chair because it's like a plastic cushion um because it's like a plastic seat so it just gives a little bit more padding and it makes it a little bit more comfortable for the baby um and they have also given me this lovely cushion cover and it's like a sage green eucalyptusy um color and it's so thick and nice material and i was really worried actually like if i got one of these things i thought it was sort of like fabric and i thought oh my god like i cannot deal with having to clean it all the time um and i like the fact that with this high chair the antelope high chair you can just literally wipe it down and um, so i was a little bit worried about that when it's arrived it's so wipeable it's literally just it could wipe straight off anything that is built on there um so it looks like it's really easy to keep clean um and it's got this little zip where you put the cushion in as well so i'm excited to try that next thing i got was the matching splashback mat it is absolutely huge um and again it's wipeable material i'm just gonna put this out for reference um obviously when i show you later you'll be able to see the actual size of it and it's such a nice pastel-y eucalyptus -y color as well so i love that and then to match the footrest I have got these beautiful leg wrap stickers. So these go round the grey legs. So let me just show you the legs at the moment in case you've forgotten. Um, so they're just literally like grey plastic, um, very clinical, like hospital looking legs. Um, they're very like bland grey legs. Um, and obviously this is the high chair. It's just like white. Um, it's nothing special really um and to be honest for a 12 pound high chair you can't really complain so i think it's actually quite good to invest the money you would be spending in like a more expensive high chair into revamping this one because this one is amazing um and i've also realized as well like before i was searching for like high chairs that you could fold down and things like that because we don't really have much space but this you can fold down um so if you look here it's not going to focus now is it yeah so if you literally pop these out you can pop the legs out so if you want to travel this around or whatever all you have to do is pop the legs out on um, the front and the back and then you've got this that you can take off as well um and basically you can just like compact it into a small size so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to revamp the high chat we'll film it and do it in like a time lapse so you can see um obviously how i do it and everything but yeah if you want to check out cove baby and then on instagram it's at my cove baby so definitely check them out um and they have obviously like gifted this to me they sent me this um and i thought that i would make a youtube video on it as well why not like I always find it interesting like seeing revamps and renovations and things like that and I absolutely love an Ikea hack so of course I'm going to film this for you guys. Mikey's just getting Arlo to sleep right now like we've been out all day um, and he's been so good bless him but he's really really tired so Mikey's said that he would get him to bed while I film this video for you guys. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking the stickers off and just getting everything ready. Um, I do need to give the high chair a little bit of a clean first because it's a little bit dirty from breakfast. I've had lots of people like send me DMs and ask me questions about how the weaning's going and things like that because I feel like over the like over the course of when he started weaning at six months to now, he's seven and a half months, things have changed a lot. Like at the start it was literally just giving him little bits give, giving him little taste and things like that but now he is on to having like two or three meals a day um obviously like small meals and sometimes it's only like a few spoonfuls but he is having two to three different meal bits a day basically 
so I think I'm gonna be doing like an update on weaning and how it's going I might even do like what my baby eats in a, in a day um, and stuff like that because I feel like it is really um, intimidating um, I think that would be the right word to use when you haven't done weaning before like I really felt that as a new mum um, and I felt like really worried that I was gonna give him the wrong thing that he was gonna choke um, and it is scary but my main thing that I would say is like obviously follow the guidelines and everything like that but just try not to worry too much okay so this is what the leg wraps look like they're like stickers on this sticker material okay first of all I'm gonna clean it I need to clean it so I'm gonna pop you up here So first I am cleaning the high chair with a Milton sterilising spray and just like an antibacterial wipe. Just giving that a wipe down because it has been up for a few weeks before I am doing the revamp. Next I am getting the cushion and blowing it up. I will give you a tip actually because I spent ages trying to blow it up and I wasn't doing it properly. Um, so you have to like pinch the bit where you blow at the same time um, and then it's really easy and straightforward. Um, but yeah I didn't really know that. Um, so hopefully that helps you and then I pop the cushion in the cushion cover and it already looks so lush the material is just amazing and I'm so pleased with it already then what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be putting the legs off of the high chair and um, wrapping them in the stickers so I'm just trying to get all of the legs off now um, they are a little bit tricky to get off but once you get them off they're fine um, and then after that I'm going to be like getting the stickers and wrapping them around so my tip would be um, to line the bottom of the sticker up with um, the bottom of the leg. So I'm going to show you now. So where the white bit is, that's the bottom of the feet. You have to line it up like perfectly and then um, just do a little bit at a time and make sure that you're like squeezing the air bubbles out and stuff as you go so there's no lumps in it and then you just wrap it around and it looks fab. <laughs> So once you have put the rubber grips on and you put the legs into the high chair like that, um, you will need to be getting the footrest and then slotting it in. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, so yeah, I'm reading the instructions. It does come with some instructions. It's good to sort of like watch someone else do it and see 
the little tips and tricks as well so you have to take the leg off to basically be able to slot it in and um, so you take one out slot it in and then pop it on and adjust the height as necessary and obviously when Arlo was sat in it I had to adjust it as well because um, it needed to go a little bit lower than I put it I'm sorry, what? This looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god, I love it. The splash mat is so big as well, like, and it's like really wipeable. So if things actually spill on it, like you can literally just wipe it off and you don't have to like put it in the washing machine or anything like that. So that is brilliant. Just look at the quality as well. It looks so good, honestly. And this is all wipeable and then this is a little mat to put on top yeah so let me know below if you like it um i thought i would just film it and just like go through a guide of obviously what i did because sometimes i find that like instructions and everything aren't like that useful um and i prefer like watching a video where someone's actually putting it together and you can see exactly what they're doing so i hope this helps if you're planning to buy one um but yeah oh god i love it so much it just makes it look like an upmarket high chair now um and it's hard to believe this was actually a 12 pound high chair i'm going to leave the video here because i actually think i have got a bruise coming on oh my god I'm such a mess right now. Um, yeah, I actually think I've got bruised from being knocked out by that pole. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you liked the video. I know it's a little bit different, the video, and you may already have high chair, but it's always fun to watch things like transformations and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel at Home With Live and also check out my Instagram at Home With Live. I will be posting like a reel on this as well. I hope you like this transformation. Wait, that was the bit, not the high chair. <laughs> I really hope you like this transformation and I really enjoyed doing it apart from being obviously hit around the head. But yeah, have a lovely rest of your day everyone and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do?